Hey, I'm Tyler, and I'm going to be making a video right now about my opinions on the top 10 Pokemon, you know, uh, by Google. So, uh, let's get into it, yeah. Alright, so number 10 was Gengar. Yeah, Gengar is like one of the coolest Pokemon from uh the first generation and such a iconic ghost type as well it's because it was only like what three of them three ghost types um yeah it's it's amazing i love gengar it's design it's super cool it's purple it's scary looking it's ghost like yeah. it definitely will earn the top 10. i think my mom doesn't know its name but she recognizes it as a Pokemon. Number nine, we have Gardevoir. I don't know. I don't want to say anything about that. Um, I remember when I was little, I did not really like Gardevoir because Gardevoir had like short hair. I, I think I liked Curlia more because it had longer hair. And so I don't, I didn't understand why it went from short, uh, from, you know, medium length to short hair. I, I'm like, shouldn't it be longer? So, yeah, I don't, I don't really like Gardevoir. Yeah. But I like how it protects its trainer. That, that's really cute. Mega Evolution is cool. Number eight, Rayquaza. I, I don't really like Rayquaza's design. I don't dislike it, I just I don't care about it. Um, but I used one in my whole playthrough because I didn't think you can catch one in Sapphire. Oh wow, it's Mega Evolution is really cool though. Number seven, Garchomp. I like to get bite more. Is that weird? But I like how it looks like a hammerhead shark. But there's just something about the design I don't really like. Number six, Sylveon. Eee, super cute. I remember when I first saw it, I thought it was a flying type. Um, but yeah, it's probably the cutest fairy type ever. Um, I welcomed Sylveon with open arms. Uh, and I'm really excited about the fairy type. Like, there's so many possibilities. Like, it could be like a, it could be like a. Looking forward to like a big bad wolf kind of Pokemon that's a fairy type. That would be cool. Or some kind of elf, elf, cyclops, giant, or even a witch. Umbreon at number, what was it, five? I love Umbreon. I always thought it was really cool as a kid. Now I like Espeon more because I vibe with Espeon better. But Umbreon is still cool. Number four, Charizard. I thought it would be number one. That's weird. Charizard's cool. I think I would have picked Charmander if, if it was my, you know, first Pokemon ever. And I love Charizard Y. Oh, but I never got to use it. Number three, Mimikyu. I'm, I love how it's like one of the newest Pokemon and it's in the top three. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going a little too fast. Um, Mimikyu, it's cute. I really love it, how it creepy it looks and it looks cute at the same time. And I love it's, uh, the idea behind it. It's genius. Number two, we have Lucario. That makes sense. I don't like Lucario. I think I would have loved it a lot more if it had more upper body. But that didn't happen. Not even with the Omega Evolution. 
sad. I'm sad about that. Number one, is it Pikachu? Please don't be Pikachu. Whoa, number one is Greninja. Well, I mean, Pikachu didn't make the top 10. I'm really happy about that. Greninja's number one? Is it really that popular? I didn't like Greninja. I didn't like Greninja nor the other two starters. I think they were all the least well designed out of all the starters. Those are my thoughts on the top 10 most popular Pokemon, thanks to Google. Um, yeah, I don't know what video I'll be making next. See ya!